What's up, guys? Spartan 85 here. Welcome to day 10 of the contractor. There's Steve and our mini bikes that we got crafted. Yay! A uh, couple things to go over that uh, we totally missed, and I noticed when I was editing, I was like, oh my, we need to explain this. So, uh, Steve, I want <laughs> Steve. What he did was he he combined all the mini bike wheels that he found. He found a bunch and he took apart. If you guys listen to the past episode, you hear him banging on cars. So he took apart a bunch of cars and got these batteries, the engines, and he combined the engines to get a better engine. You just found the batteries, correct? I found the batteries. From my perspective, I just heard you talking about batteries. So I'm like, yeah, I found the batteries, but no, I combined the engines and wheels. Yeah, combined the engines and the wheels, but he got lucky and found these high-level batteries and the baskets, too. So just wanted to point that out. Uh, that's how we got that high-level stuff. Uh, he worked on the gun uh, parts all last episode, too, while I was uh, dancing around uh, with the zombies. And uh, he made a magnum, so we got a magnum now. It's pretty low level. Uh, I got a shotgun with five slugs and then a uh, hunting rifle, level 166. Pistol, I uh, got the bow up to 372, and I still got the sledgehammer, too, that I'm rocking, that I did repair. So that's how we're looking. Mini bikes Do are I loaded. Warn you? Do I warn you, or should I just let you turn around? Oh, hi. Oh, my God. Do we want to <laughs> fight these or just get on the road? Oh, man. Well, I guess we're Have fighting. We explain them. where we're going? <laughs> we don't even know where we're going. <laughs> I guess we're fighting. I might be dying. Oh, we got her. Man, that's a lot of zombies. <laughs> that is a lot of zombies. Well, I guess we're getting some XP this morning. Oh, helps if you loaded. That does help. <laughs> Ooh, I'm infected. That's what happens when you hang around those nurses. Right? There is uh, some honey in your mini bike, I believe. Yeah. I think I saw it. Oh, shit, it's just vaporized. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got one more straggler. Get wrecked. Yes. The wreckage is here. The wreckage is here. Anyway. Um, oh, there's a crackhead over here. I hear him. Oh, yeah, he's over here. Oh, I hate these reloading animations. Oh, I hate them. I hate <laughs> these reloading animations. Uh, glass pane. I don't know if you want that or not, but I'm nah. good. I'll show you guys the mini bikes real quick, what we have in each one. I just leveled up, and I got 20 points. Wow. Here's everything I have in the mini bikes right there, and I'll show you what we have in Steve's. He's got all the uh, building the chairs. I love all the chairs, the glass panes, or the pictures. I'll, I'll throw the iron in yours. There we go. Save me some save me some room. Painkillers. Nothing in there. I got water so far. Okay, water. I got water and food. I'll just eat the food real quick. Uh, more food. I'll just, uh... Oh, you are not hungry. Okay. Apparently I'm not hungry. Bit of brass. I'll grab that. Alright, cool. I think we're good now. So, here's our idea. We're gonna go northwest. This is the cave that uh, Shmi marked, I believe. Either the cave or the iron. Maybe that's where he mined. I don't know. Maybe that's where he mined, but, uh... We're going to go northwest and see what's up here. Just to avoid this trader. We want to lock some more traders. This is our kind of goal. And we also have that treasure that's close to the hub city, but we'll get that later. So, all right. Onward, I guess. Zoom, zoom. Helps if you go the right direction. Let's go this way. Oh, also, we don't have a lot of gas, so we need to take apart cars along the way. I did stash gas somewhere, but I don't remember where. Oh, good. <laughs> well, 
when I was hacking all those cars, my inventory was full, so I just... Oh, so it's somewhere in this city then, huh? So oh. It's like a mailbox or a chest or something. That's all good. We'll just, uh... We'll just harvest it all. If we can find the uh, gas can schematic, I have a couple gas barrels that would help. Oh, did you? Oh, I just took her legs out. <laughs> Lieutenant Danielle. Ooh, who's she after? I think she's after you. Oh yeah, there. She's after after my body. There she is. Oh, nice. Level 167 pistol. What is your pistol at? 202. Okay, well, we'll just, uh, I'll just take the, oh, I can't take the ammo out, darn it. Okay. Let's hold on to that. We'll maybe sell it. All right. All right, we got some gas. I think that'll get us set for the day, hopefully. Let's see how far it takes us. 54. 54? I got 28. Oh, man. Sucker. Yeah, right. We got one more car. One more car. Two on you. There's one. There's two. Old sandwich. And we'll take the water. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Let's get out of here. North. Zoom, zoom. So, Steve, have you uh, got your hands on Starfield any lately? Uh, I'm on the second playthrough now. Oh, wow. So you beat the uh, main story then? I did. What are you thinking of it so far? It is a Bethesda game. Yeah? Spa Space Skyrim is pretty fun. Space Skyrim. I like it. I got... Um, and I know it's not a Bethesda game, but I got some Mass Effect and Andromeda vibes. I don't know if you did or not, but I got some... Which is good. I like Mass Effect and Dramata. I'm not. I'm not knocking the game at all. Did you get any vibes like that? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Grab drives and go into the different system. But um, yeah, it's a fun game. Just uh, a lot of bugs. Oh yeah, it's it, Bethesda likes their bugs for sure. I've played probably the first ten to twenty minutes. I need to get more into it. I really haven't. I. Oh, I guess Shami checked all these cars here. Um, yeah, I haven't really played along with them, but I I'm, I'm usually do. I love Bethesda games. I'm a huge fan of them. I actually fired up uh, Fallout New Vegas just the other day just to mess around in, because it's one of my favorite games of all time. Looks like snow or desert off to the west. I just see... Uh, maybe? I don't know what that is. Oh, we got a treasure to, uh, trader just spawned in, too, by the way, to the north. Let's see where that is. Way up there. Yep, there's a trader. Oh, and it's already marked, too. I wonder if that's the one Shami marked that... for us. Yeah. I believe it is. Yeah, it's marked. Okay. Interesting. I didn't. I guess I didn't see that he marked that, or I didn't see that we could accept it. So awesome. Well, thank you, Shami. You're uh, helping us even when you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> that sports bag here. Uh, iron reinforced club. I'll just scrap that for the iron. Nothing in there. All right. Oh, yeah. Check the trash. Yes. A couple rolls of duct tape. All right. Grab that. This biome always makes me want to pee.
So I figure the amount that you're talking, we're not doing a montage right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bit of a montage. I'll, I'll do a little bit of montage, a little bit of speaking. But for anyone who has not yet started Starfield, there's a few ways to play. And my number one suggestion would be just to power through the storyline first and then do another playthrough. Nice. Because you'll get used to the bugs, but there's a few benefits of starting the game again. It'll make your, your next playthrough probably a little bit more enjoyable. Would you like a shovel, Steve? I think I have one. What's uh what's level, the trade level, for? level eighty. And oh what's it sell uh, for? Uh it sells for twelve. I'll just scrap it. Yeah. Get the iron out of it. Man, I wish there was like a way that you could easily get some cash in Starfield. <laughs> Segway. Well, I do have Here's a segue. <laughs> <laughs> on on my channel I do have a quick little like very early um, like, level one, you can go get some loot and stuff from some unsavory means, but until it's patched, it's all legal. We might have a city right here, maybe. Yep, yeah, we got a city. Alright. Cool. That wasn't very far at all. Let me, uh, I'll give out the coordinates real quick for you guys before we start fighting. Traders to the northwest, the coordinates of this city looks like it's, uh, 1982 north, 928 east, and then you have a trader... This, this is where our other city is, so this one's to the northwest. Um, it's, uh, go back to what Steve was saying. Uh, your YouTube channel is Freaky Space 1945, correct? Uh, no, I believe it's Steve 1945. Oh, that's your Discord. Underscore. That's your uh, Discord. So, <laughs> Steve. <Yep. laughs> Steve <laughs> I get him confused. So, Steve, uh, say that one more time. Say it one more time. Steve 1945. Underscore underscore. So if you want to check them out, I'll, I'll put the link in the look at this three stores right next to each other. I guess we're raiding this. Yes, sir. Ted chest time. Yeah, this is gonna be a Ted chest time. Um, I'll put a link in the description. You guys want to check out Steve's channel. He's doing some shorts um, and he's got some Starfield stuff and uh, got a pretty I, I don't know. I've watched it a couple times. Your uh, your joke little joke video is pretty freaking hilarious it's <laughs> it's all gamer jokes too so it's pretty it's pretty funny just something fun for the community and i've been playing around all right let me grab that short iron pipe yeah this is definitely ted, ted chest time right yeah. now i definitely have to put out the next video <laughs> quick and easy <laughs> I found another chest that, um, oh, geez, Carl, that, uh, really gives you some, some cash. Starfield? Yes. Well, hey, look behind you, Steve. There's our, uh, there's our little garage. Ha! Isn't that it? Right oh, there? Yeah. A little garage. Should build another one here. <laughs> <laughs> There is another Only store 11. behind this. There's four stores. All right here. I don't know what this one is. I'm going to go see what this one is real quick. Uh, it's got its back turned to us. It's a uh, working stiff. It's Holy my god. So we have all four stores right here. Right in the center. This is a cool town. This is a cool town. Okay. And there's also a underground bunker. Not the well bunker, but the, uh, the bunker house uh, over here too. So... All right, so we're going to be here a minute, aren't we? I think we'll be here a minute. Yeah, I think... Uh... Oh, airdrop. Right there, too. Close your legs. Gross. Oh, yeah, so... Uh, we can scout the city, kind of find what we want to use for a base. Oh, yeah, and airdrops to the northeast. Um, let me... Uh, tell you what. I'll scout a little bit. I'll go north. Oh, yeah, crack into that garage and uh, yeah, set up shop in there. Because, you know, after we're done with Shotgun Messiah and whatnot, we're going to be combining stuff, so... Sure. We're going to be here a minute. Oh, I can't pick up any of this stuff from the chicken. No! What is it, feathers? Oh, man. Let me drop the, uh, drop the glass jars.
I do think sitting up close next to these is probably going to be a good idea. Um, there is, I'll, I tell you what, there is a little old western kind of shop here, um, directly south, uh, well, sorry, directly north of you. If you want to come over here, this might be a fun one to kind of flip. Not so much flip, but use. I say, isn't that something already on the channel yeah, here? Yeah, who else is flipping? I forgot. Segway. Segway. <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't know there's a new uh, Seven Days to Die series out uh, console called the Flipper. So, oh, there you are. Yeah, this little uh, little house right here might be fun to kind of use as a base. What's up, girl? Mm. <laughs> Don't get an infection. <laughs> yeah, this will work. All right. Ooh, it's already got chairs. Excellent. Oh, yeah, it's got your chairs. It's got something we can read, although we can't read. And then, uh, yep, nothing in the cabinet. All right, cool. It's upstairs. Oh, I forgot there's an upstairs to this, too, isn't there? You know what? Might rooftop. be Might be good to use the rooftop on this. This might be a good rooftop POI to use. It's already f nice and flat. Well, if you want to sit up here, I can uh, fortify this area. Yeah, let's do it. I'll uh, I'll make a couple chests. Tell you what, I'm gonna put a chest right here, just out front. All right. Kind of a Ted chest. I'm gonna throw some loot in there. Am I blind? Oh, here they are. Yeah, yeah, you are. I think so. Okay, I'm gonna put the other chest in this box too, Steve. So if you wanna. Do whatever you want with them. I'll cool. uh, I'll start looting. I guess I'll start. Uh, I'll start with this working stiff right here next door. Man, this is cool. I don't think I've ever seen four businesses like that. Right? Have you ever seen that, Steve? Like all close together like that? The ones that matter, like this, no. Yeah, exactly. The ones that matter. I don't One count Shamway. Once, yeah, no. Once in a while, you can in like a hub city, but um, yeah, I don't know. This is this is new. As, yeah, as far as the big stores and Navisgain, what's that town called? You have oh, Perishton? all those little shops. Perishton, yeah. Yeah. But nothing like this. Some lead. Somebody's inside. We got a stiff inside. Ah. Oh, it's Kurt. Come here, Kurt. Up, Kurt. Kurt. Scrap all that. More beer. All right, we'll carry the beer. I need to. I should have used that with all those zombies we killed, but that's all right. Bit of paper. A level one claw hammer, Steve. Does that interest you? Ooh. Absolutely, I can do so much with that. <laughs> all, all, uh, all sarcasm aside, do you really want it or not? <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay. Oh, potato seed. Okay, I'll just uh, I'll scrap it. I guess. What do you get out of that? You get you get ninety iron for scrapping those. That's pretty. That's pretty good. See, this is where perspective matters. You said ooh, potato seed, and then you're scrapping it for iron. <laughs> ooh, potato. <yeah. laughs> perspective does does help. Yeah. Ooh, potato seed. Yeah, my brain works a lot like the movie Up, the dog in there. Um, where he's like, squirrel, <laughs> squirrel. Um, that's basically, yeah, that's how my brain works. I think most of the community that's watched me for, you know, any amount of time probably know that already. So. Just when you start, like, listening to what I'm saying, you're like, okay, Spartan, that's, and then I go off to something else. So, it's like, no, finish that last thought. A bunch of wood frames. We'll grab those. Decayed mother brought me sandwiches. Yum. A 
Scrap iron grates. You ever use those? Scrap iron grate? What's that even for? Uh, it's like um, a cheap version of iron bars. You can shoot through them. I did not know that. No, that might be it. We could try it. I'm always down to try something. <laughs> I know you are. Yeah. Man, I was out of... Uh, at the furniture store the other day, Steve, and I was, you know, looking at new sofas, and uh, the salesman said, he pointed to this one sofa, and he said, you can fit five people on this one with no problems. And I said, where the hell am I going to find five people with no problems? <laughs> Not around here. <laughs> Not <laughs> oh, Darn zombies. Uh, level 17 sledge. Are you interested in that? While well, you're doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> it sounds like a Clint Eastwood movie out here. Well, we can combine it with yours. Where the hell are you? I'm at the base still. I just darn zombies <laughs> took all my rounds here. Crazy. <laughs> uh, what about a fire axe? You want an iron fire axe? Yes, please. Okay, I will get that for you. And I'll drop the one animal fat. And I'll bring this fire axe over to you. Okay, and we have forged iron, I believe, in that chest, so you can repair this if you want. You know, I asked my fiance to rate my listening skills the other day, Steve. And she, uh, uh yeah. yeah, you know what she said? She said, uh, you're an 8 out of a scale of 10. And you know, I still don't know why she wants me to urinate on a skeleton. Because <laughs> the girls are all about that pumpkin spice Halloween, man. Go ahead and urinate on that. Go ahead and urinate on the skeleton. It's fine. Oh gosh, yeah, that's that's my life. Okay, your uh, fire axe is in this chest. I'll put it at the bottom, and there's sixty forged uh, iron in here if you want to repair it. Excellent. Excellent. All right, we got a metal door. More wood frames, and let's talk about so we can use that metal door for something. Actually, I can use that on the uh, base here. Seven mechanical parts and one hubcap, which I have... You know, the builder series, I started making landmines, so I'll save that. Oh, another fire axe. Eight more mechanical parts. Alright, I might use that fire axe. Nothing in there. Alright, SMG schematic, which I know I might give that to you. And then a hunting, a really nice hunting rifle stock, actually. Brass and some paper, and we'll go check the roof real quick. Real we quick! <laughs> well, I'm liking this map so far, Steve. This is a pretty, pretty badass map. I say that. Yeah, it's really decent. I say that. We've only explored like 10%. I bet the other 90% is wasteland. This is waiting to kill us. Alright. Uh, level 57 hunting rifle parts. I'll grab that. Nothing in dead Carl. Alright. Got lots of mechanical parts. If we need those. Oh. oh, dang it, I fell off the roof. <laughs> there it is, guys. There's my broken leg. I was going to ask, did you break a leg? <laughs> I broke a leg. Never fails. I was looking for the stupid ladder. I got a splint in here, I think. I thought I put a splint in this store. There it is. Let me look at my hunting rifle here. Let's uh, assemble it. And yeah, this is much better than the one I have, so I'll throw that one on there. Made a level 229. I don't really know what it was before. Steve, there's a uh, SMG schematic I'll throw on the bottom of this chest. You can read that if you want. Cool. There's the metal door in here, what too. Ones, what gun schematics do you not know? So I'm not consuming them on you. Um, I know a lot of them. I... Gosh, that's a good question. I'll know here, and I'll go hit the crack a book here in a minute. And I'll know. But I think it was the enforcer you still need, right? Yes, I think I need the enforcer. I believe. All right.
which I will repair this fire axe real quick. Let me grab some forged iron. Repair. Level 126. Did go down a little bit, but at least it's fully repaired now. Okay. Working stiff is cleared out. I'm going to go hit the... If I got a minute, I'll take my minibike with me just in case I get overrun. Which is... Over here. Did you bring me that door? Yeah, it's in the, the chest. The Ted chest. Excellent. It's in Ted's chest. Ooh. Ooh. Man, so many choices. All these are freaking great. I, don't, I guess I'll just start with the... Uh, I guess I'll start with the Shotgun Messiah, I guess. It's just right here. Let's do it. Glass jars. But uh, gunpowder, we'll take it. Nothing in there. Man, another fire axe. Good God. I'll switch that one out. Once you get the workbench set down, I'll combine those. I tell you what, I got all these skill points I need to burn. I got 26 points. So, let's see what we want to throw into here. Ooh, I'm wet. <laughs> I guess I'll go blunt. Uh, Pummel Pete does cover the sledgehammer. I think I've covered this in one of our tutorials, I think. Yeah, it's a blunt weapon. So Pummel Pete does help the uh, sledgehammer out. So let's go Pummel Pete. And we can go break an entering again since we're using the sledge. Let's go break an entering again. Why not? All right. We're using the sledge so much. Alright, what do we got? We got some uh, more coinage. Thank you. More lead. Some uh, glass jars, which I need to get better about scrap not scrapping these trophies. I'm pretty bad about it. I do get more out of it. I'm just so used to like inventory management. Hunting rifle receiver. I'll grab that. We'll combine that with the uh, hunting rifle parts that we have. And uh, that'll sell for more when you combine them. Want a beer. What do we got? Kill a wabbit. Kill a wabbit. I did kill a wabbit on the way here. Kill some rabbits with a sawed-off shotgun. That does not sound like a fun time. I'm going to leave that. Another SMG schematics. So I'll just read that one since I gave you that other one. Uh, a couple shotgun, short, shotgun short stock, shotgun short barrel. So I will just combine these. Oh, I actually, I don't know. The, I don't know the shotgun schematic, Steve. There's one I don't know. Wow. All right. So I there's a crack book over here. I might find one in the crack book. Hunting rifle barrel, two of them. Okay, so we can combine that with the receiver. Boom, saves a little bit of space. And I know I've had some people in the comments like, hey, why don't you combine these? You know, why don't you do that? And I don't have a reason for you. I really don't. I just don't because I don't think about it. So I just go on with my life and don't combine stuff. Shotgun long barrel and hunting rifle parts. Can we throw that on the hunting rifle? Yes, we can. So we'll throw the the parts on there. So there we go. And that will sell for three twenty seven right now. We get that thing fully put together. It'll sell for a lot. So that's kind of why you want to combine them, because you can sell it for a lot more. A little more lead. Level 178 wrench. What, what are you rocking, Steve? I am rocking a... 297. Oh, you got a good one. I'll just combine these then. Some more stuff. Oh, I am full. I guess it's time to run back real quick. I think I, you know, I haven't cleared up my mini bike. I don't think yet. Let me see if I have. Nope, I haven't. Oh, 
I'll get that workbench and forge set up real quick then. Yeah, that'll work. And my sleeping bag. Looking good. All right. Oh, I like this. Yeah, yeah the there. stairs. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, these. Okay, so you can... Sh I like these. The little, uh... What'd you call these? The grates? Yeah, the metal grates. Yeah, I like these. And you can shoot through these. That's pretty nifty. All right. Right? And they're cheaper than iron bars, so... Well, I did not know that. That is, uh... That is pretty nifty. I'll throw my bedroll up here, I guess. Right there. Not bad! Turn this into a little, uh... Kind of a workable, workable little base. All right, I'm gonna finish up the uh, shotgun messiah real quick, and then um, then we'll probably call it an episode. I mean, you got go check right. the roof. I have a couple birds' nests right here. I'll grab. There's an egg. More feathers. Kind of a quiet city, too. Not a lot going on. No. Which I'm definitely not complaining about. Sports bag. We got a uh, hunting rifle parts. You know what? I didn't even... I got all the stuff on the mini bike and I didn't put it in the storage. Oh, no. <laughs> that was... That was dumb. Well, back in the mini bike it goes. All right, hunting rifle parts. Anything over here? Got a dead. Yep, got a dead Carl. Half Carl. Carl Jr. Carl's Jr. Let's see if I can do this ladder this time. There we go. Got it that time. Nothing in that. We got a desk with. Uh, oh, a duster. We'll sell that. Usually sells for decent. Get Steve another chair. Yes. Some paper. More mechanical parts. All right. Shotgun stock, shotgun stock, and shotgun short stock. So I can't, I can't combine those. It's all right though. Hunting rifle barrel. So we'll just uh, combine the hunting rifle parts with the barrel. Boom, there we go. Saves a little bit of room. Boom. And the shotgun messiah is done. Hey, buddy. Hey. Are you thirsty or hungry? What was that? Probably both, but I'm currently thirsty. <laughs> I heard the woo. <laughs> that one's not me, though. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a moaner. All right, do we have a campfire in here yet? Not yet. Yeah, I'll set one up. I'm gonna end the episode two here. All right. Whoa, we got somebody running over. Oh, my God. Shut the hatch. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh, bear. oh no, I didn't get it shut. No. Ouchie. Ouchie. Ow. <laughs> Die, lady. I can't hit her. <laughs> ah. She won't oh, die. I put, <laughs> I put my bedroll down real quick then. Oh, my God. I was about to end the episode. I was gonna come out here and and sign off, and we just got <laughs> over freaking. Where they all? They all ran past us. Look at that. Look out the window. Oh jeez, <laughs> yeah. Let that happen. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, they just turned around. No. Yeah, they're coming. Uh, are they gonna run past us again? No, they're coming this time. Uh, is that a dog? That's no, a spider monkey.
So if you want to go to the second floor, I'll yep. fight him at the door here. That'll work. Suck it, Mo. Get wrecked. Oh. Only thing we need to adjust is I can't quite see the front door all the way. So we'll just I was just thinking that. I'll but, fix that in a minute. But I can see most of it. I just can't. If they're up there battling you, I can't quite see them. But it's no big deal, though. God dang it, lady. Will you stop jumping? We were just saying how quiet this city was and how nice and peaceful it was. <laughs> Spider Monkey's coming up. He's, uh... Will you just hold still, dude? My harem. Yeah, he's... Argoed on me or here. Uh, angered on me. Come on. Uh... Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. what the hell? Uh-oh. What is that? Oh, oh, inside. Oh, no. Uh, inside. inside. <laughs> I Hold heard on. you I die. I heard this. I heard you die. Uh, it's such a pitiful death. She spawned behind me. What? Oh, man. I'm calling shenanigans on that one, dude. Yeah, call the uh, call the manager. This guy will not freaking die. Finally! Good lord. Okay, it's quiet. She was on top of the forge when I turned around. No way. No way. Yeah. <laughs> She's a witch. Alright, a little bit of food. Alright, can we try this again? Uh, a little more water. We'll grab these. Well, I'm going to harvest these bodies, guys, and do a little looting. If I find anything sub substantial, I'll tell you guys in the next episode. But we're going to sign off. Uh, I think Steve's tired of uh, tired of dying. Needs a break. And <laughs> right. <laughs> Doesn't like the, the witches spawning behind him. <laughs> so, all right, guys. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye-bye.